errors set. If you work long enough in Excel, you're bound to get some errors. These could happen if you try and do calculations on text, you have a bad lookup reference, or lots of other reasons. Getting errors messes up formulas and other references. So the if error function can help us out. Let's look at an example. Let's say that every week you get a report of employees who have worked overtime, and it comes in a format like this. A column for the employee, their overtime rate, and the overtime hours. Now this particular report, if they don't have any overtime hours, has this text right here that says NA. If we wanted to calculate total overtime pay, we would typically just do a formula equals the overtime rate times the overtime hours. For this second row here, it works out, but if you pull that formula down, you get errors wherever there's a text reference. If you tried to sum up all of this data, because there are errors in the data, it's going to give you an error as well. So this is where the if error function comes in handy. The if error function is pretty simple. If you type if error, the first thing that you need to give is the value. This is basically the formula that you want to have calculate. In this case, it's just that formula that we had before. Column B times column C. When we press comma, the last thing that this formula needs is what value we want to return if there happens to be an error. Now in this case, we could probably just do a zero because if there's an error, it means that they didn't work any overtime hours. You could also put another function or formula in for the value if error, if that's appropriate in your case. So we'll close that parentheses and then pull this information down. And now wherever there was a, an error, it's returned to zero, and our total right here ends up working. Let's look at another common example. Here we have a list of customers, last year's revenue, this year's revenue, and the change, and we want to calculate a percent change. Typically, we would just go the change column divided by last year. For this first line here, the Bluth company had a 10% increase in revenue. If we pull that down, we get an error here because we're trying to divide by zero. So we'll use the if error function again. The value is just going to be the formula that we want. And then if there's a value, or if there's an error, instead of a zero, we want it to just be blank. So we'll just do double quotes, and then pull that formula down. And now it's blank here, because we didn't have any revenue last year. You could also do something like NA or whatever you wanted to display. And that's it. It's a really useful function when you have data that might produce errors and you want to ignore those errors. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel to get videos like this throughout the week. And until next time, go spreadsheet something awesome.